Today I'm going to show you how to restore an old security camera into almost new condition again. So this is our uh, license plate camera and unfortunately it has seen some better days. It's quite scratched up and the image is not very good anymore. So using a few basic tools and some elbow grease, we're going to bring this into almost new condition again. What you'll need to have with you is a Dremel. In this case, I'm using a Dremel 3000. You're also going to need a one inch wool pad, uh, just a small circular wool pad, as well as a container of cerium oxide. This is going to be used to make our polishing compound. Make sure you have the fine grade cerium oxide. I'm using the one with 2.5 micron particle size. And we're going to be mixing the cerium oxide with some distilled water. So uh, make sure you have distilled water, not tap water, not bottled water. So the first thing I'm going to do is take some cerium oxide and I'm going to weigh this in to my kitchen scale. I'm going to weigh about 50 grams. So, so now that I have 40 grams, I want to mix some water into this with a ratio of three parts cerium oxide to one part distilled water. I'm gonna need about 13 grams of water. So if I mix this together, I should have a ratio of three to one cerium oxide to distilled water. Perfect. So now that our mixture is fully mixed, I'm gonna take my Dremel and I'm gonna dip the wool pad into my mixture of cerium oxide. Now make sure you polish on the lowest speed uh, because it's going to splash and this is very messy so uh, that's why we have all this protection here. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm simply going around the edges of the glass very slowly. Don't put too much pressure. Uh, let the pad do the polishing and let the compound do the polishing. And this is going to take a while. Oh, and this is the same method that they use to polish uh, phones, mobile phones. So this should work pretty well on our camera. Oh, and one more thing. When the polishing compound starts to dry out like this, you want to spray a little bit more distilled water on it and that will reactivate the compound. Can you get that? Yeah, I've been polishing for about, I would say probably five minutes now. And we've already made a huge difference to the clarity of the lens. Most of the small scratches are gone already, um, but we still see a couple uh, larger scratches, especially around the edge of the lens. Uh, so I'm going to keep at this for maybe another 5-10 minutes and I'll show you when, that, when that's done. So at this point, I've been polishing the camera lens for about 20 minutes. I also polished underneath the lens to remove the white stain that was blocking the infrared LEDs. Once everything was done, I wiped the camera clean with a slightly wet paper towel. Here's how the camera looks before and after polishing. Wow, what a difference! After all that work, let's mount the camera outside and see how it looks. Before cleaning the camera, the video looked foggy and dull. We couldn't see license plates at all. After cleaning, the image looks sharp and colorful again. We have no trouble reading license plates from the vehicles passing by. So there you have it. Just because your lens is scratched and dirty, doesn't mean you have to rush out and buy a new camera. With a bit of time, effort, 
and a few simple tools, you can restore your security camera back to near mint condition.